What's up, y'all? Self build language here. Got another Spanish resource review for y'all today. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Teach Yourself Complete Spanish Review. I mean, <laughs> Teach Yourself Complete Spanish Book. That's a thumbnail. Anyway, yeah, let's get into it, man. So this course is designed for beginners, complete beginners to intermediate. Uh, you should be able to read. Well, it'll include read, reading, writing, speaking, and understanding. You should be able to connect with the La Cotura Española. Use 200 words confidently and learn to learn. So basically, that's the goals of this book. What comes with it? It comes with a book and two audio CDs. So I'll show you the book and audio CDs. So here's the book. You know, it has this nice little bull graphic right here. So this is um, Spanish from Spain. This is a Latin American Spanish book, which is what I focus on. But And here's the CD. It comes with two CDs, CD1, CD2. And actually my laptop doesn't have a CD player, so I had to buy this right here. One second. I had to buy this. So this is a portable CD drive. It's only like $20, so you might need to pick that up. But let's get into it. What I like about this book, I think this book is perfect for complete beginners. This is the best resource I use so far that I would recommend to a complete beginner who knows nothing about Spanish or any language. Well, I haven't tried the other book, so I can't talk. And the reason why I say that is it's kind of like a guided course. Like it has a English um, person guiding you along, telling you what to do, what this and that means. So it per it's perfect for a complete beginner who knows nothing. Uh, the second thing I like is cultural insights in this book. Like the uh, goal said, la cultura española es como... Yeah, these cultural insights are written in Spanish, so you get uh, a chance to practice what you read and and how to read in Spanish. Although I think it will be very difficult for a complete beginner to get through this course. Well, not very difficult, but more challenging because you have to know what is being said. And yes, uh, the third thing I like if y'all watch my videos, y'all know I don't like doing practice exercises or questions, but this book actually had very interesting practice lessons, questions, and it changed. It was varied every lesson, so it wasn't the same thing over and over. So one lesson might have crossword puzzles, word searches, a map, things like that. It was a lot of different variations of practice that you could do. Third thing I like, the clear audio the audio is very clear um yeah it's that's all i can say about that useful information after completing this course you'll be able to speak uh about simple topics um yeah you'll be able to speak about simple topics and talk right away so if you're you know what i'm saying at a restaurant or something you could you know, talk with the native speakers a little bit. So the third thing, the last thing I like is a take it further section. So I'm just going to take out the book again real quick to show y'all something. So after you complete this course, it has a chapter called the take it further section. So basically this chapter it's telling you exactly what the title is. So it gives you uh, resources that you can go to, to uh, mail dot. I mean, I don't know why I'm speaking Spanish, to improve your Spanish. So it has sources of authentic Spanish from Spain, uh, newspapers and magazines, Latin American, 
Uh, it gives you advice on listening to the radio, television, internet news sources, and traveling. So here is that. So let's get into my not my dislikes. It's too much English for me because my my level was basically above this book. I'm just reviewing it to tell you if you should or should not get it. But if you're not a complete beginner or if you if you're like above a A2, I don't think this course will be that helpful for you. Um, but my Spanish is above the level of this book, so I felt like it was too much English, and it was too much English in the audio. So I said, like I, what I said before, it's good if you're a complete beginner, but once you get past that, you want to start listening to native speakers speak, which you do, but you want to hear that all the time. Too much grammar. Yeah, it's too much grammar in this book. I just skipped the grammar sections because I had a separate grammar book. And, that's, and you're going to see that review on my channel if it's not already up. But every after every lesson, it was a grammar um, section called Language Discovery. And that went on for pages and pages. And sometimes it was longer than the chapter for um, that you learn. So I felt like it was too much grammar. Hard to follow. Yeah, when I started using this book, it was hard for me to follow. Um, the audio, I had to figure out where the audio went to. It didn't tell you when to switch a page. So I was I was constantly going back and forth trying to figure out what was going on. And, it, and that took me a while to get used to. And something I didn't write down that I don't like is... It's no translation for the, for the text. So let's let's just say you're a complete beginner and you don't understand the text. So this dialogue hook box right here is what the audio would be for. So we go through this. And if you didn't understand what it was saying, you would have no way to to figure out what it was saying unless you looked up on Google Translate or something. So this whole section would be pretty much useless if you couldn't figure that out. So I think they should add a um, section that's in English of that translation just for complete beginners because that's who this book is marketed to. And next, it's not a lot of content in this book. So this book took, took me about 30 days to complete and it'll take you about 30 days too if you do a lesson every day, which doesn't take that long, even with the uh, grammar and the exercises. It'll probably take you at most an hour to do a day. But let's get into the claims of this book. So it says give you all the language practice and skills you need to communicate, communicate comfortably and accurately in Spanish. Lies, 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 lies. This book doesn't give you everything you need to com communicate comfortably and accurate, accurately in Spanish. You'll still be stumbling. You'll still be basically at a, at a beginner level, like I said, about A1 or A2. But you'll be able to have simple conversation like, hola, como estas? Quiero, quiero hacer comida. Uh, things like that. You won't be able to have, to have a full, full on conversation. The next claim is move comfortably from beginner to intermediate. No, 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 no. You're still a beginner after completing this course. I wouldn't, in my opinion, you wouldn't be intermediate. Um, yeah, you wouldn't be intermediate with this course. Um, the last claim, B2 after completion. I don't know why companies put this on their books. B2 is fluent in the book. I mean, fluent in the language, and you won't get that by reading any type of book, by doing any type of course by itself. So, yeah, it's it's a good book, but it won't take you a B two. It won't. It'll probably take you an A two at the most, but that's it. Um, yeah, here's a claim, just in case you don't believe me. It says B two. And it won't take you there. 
So I don't know why companies keep putting that on their book. I guess it's just marketing to get people to buy their book because they mo they know most people won't finish what they what they start. So is it worth it? The price. Let's talk about the price. The price is thirty five dollars on Amazon Prime with uh, free shipping. I didn't get it from Amazon. I actually got it from I don't really remember. Probably Bars and Nobles or some other bookstore online. Um, but yes, I think the price is worth it. And I think this book is worth it if you're a complete beginner or if you're still in the beginning, let's say up to six months after that, I think this book won't help you that much. And yes, that's my opinion. Leave your comments, likes, and let me know what you think.